What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another Swift video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some more UI stuff and specifically we're going to take a look at how you can blur out your uh, various views in your app. So here's the app we're going to be putting together. So as you saw, we had our image showing and then we got this blurred out uh, overlay that animated in with a nice little fade. So we'll take a look at how to start with the blur in general how to animate it in, and then let's actually see that one more time, but we'll see it in dark mode this time. Uh, we'll take a look at the different styles available uh, to blur things out. So here we just have light versus dark, but there's definitely uh, even more cool things you can do with your blurs. So that said, make sure you destroy the like button as always before we jump into things. Hit subscribe if you're a returning viewer and haven't done so already. I'm gonna be annoying and pause to make sure everyone hits that like button. No, not actually though, but let's go ahead and open up Xcode, get excited, and let's talk about some blurs. Quick pause before we get into the video. If you haven't seen it already, I am hard at work putting together iosacademy.io, a community where all of us iOS engineers can come together, learn how to build some of the top apps like Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, in addition to interview prep to land some of these iOS roles at top tech companies. So if you're interested in the free and premium content to come, head on over to iosacademy.io and enter your email address in the waitlist form and you will be notified as content becomes available. That said, let's get into the video. Let's begin by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We'll stick with the app template here and I'm going to go ahead and call this my blurred example. Make sure your language is Swift, uh, Lifecycle UI Kit, and Interface is Storyboard. Go ahead and continue, and we'll save it. And before we get into the code, we're going to go to our XC assets here, and we're going to create a new image set by right-clicking and hitting Image Set. And I'm going to go ahead and call this Background. And we're going to drag in an image. I just grabbed an image from Google Images here, so let's go ahead and drag this guy in. And now that that is in, let me expand my Xcode window here. And let's go to our view controller. Let's close this right panel. We don't need this. And let me bump up this font size so everyone can see it, so it's nice and large. And we're going to come to our simulator list here, pick a simulator. We'll go with the Pro Max and hit that Run button to build and run into our simulator. Awesome. So the reason we, of course, brought that image in is we're going to show it and then we're going to add uh, a blur on top of it. So let's see how to do that. So we first need to use an image view. So we're going to create a private let image view, which will be a UI image view. And in here, we're going to say image view is a UI image view with an image. And that image is going to be named background, which is the image we just created in the XC assets and brought in. Uh, we are going to say image view dot content mode. Content mode, there we go, is going to be scale aspect fill. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and return the image view. And let's also add image view clips to bounds is true. Go ahead and add this as a sub view to our view. We're going to say view, add sub view, image view, and we're going to say image view dot frame is view dot bounds. So it takes up the entirety of the screen. Go ahead and hit command R to build and run. And here is our image. So now we want to add a blur on top of it. Let's say we wanted to show text on top of it and putting text on this directly is not the most legible. It's definitely not accessible uh, for those who need it to be more visually uh, discernible. So we're going to add a blur view. So I'm going to say create blur and we're going to create that function down here and we're going to spell this correctly because we all know how to spell some days. We're going to say create blur and the way we basically create a blur is by creating a visual effect view and we provide that view the type of blur we want to show. So we're going to first create a blur effect which is a UI blur effect. And if you open up the parentheses here, you'll see there is a option for style. And there's actually quite a few styles in here that Apple provides, and they're all slightly different. But let's go ahead and just start with a regular, and we'll, we'll switch through a few of them to see what they look like. 
And next we want to create that visual effect view, which is a UI visual effect view. And you can provide the effect, which is a blur effect. And we're going to want to say view add subview visual effect view. And we're also going to want to give this a frame, of course. So we're going to say the frame is uh, view dot bounds. And you can also give it a auto resizing mask if you'd like. I don't think we will since we're not using constraints. Uh, but let's see, that should be good enough to get our blur to show up. So go ahead and run. And now you can see we have our image in the background, but it's blurred out with this uh, light overlay blur. So if you hit Command Shift A, you'll see everything change to dark mode and you'll see that the blur actually also respects dark mode, which is pretty darn cool. Um, one thing I'll mention is if you put white text on top of this, it definitely might not be the most legible. So that's where the style comes in. So the style, there is dark in here, I believe. Let's see, hopefully I'm not making that up. Here we go, Here's, there's dark, there's material dark, there's thin, let's just see what dark looks like. Go ahead and run it. And you can see even in light mode, it is dark. And in dark mode, it's I'm switching the theme right now with my keyboard, you can't really tell because it's dark regardless. But generally, if you want to put text on top of this, it's uh, more ideal to have light text on top of a darker background. Let's take a look at what else they've got. They've got Chrome material. I actually don't remember off the top of my head how this one looks. So that's how it looks in dark mode. And in light mode, it's extremely light. You can hardly see the background uh, image there. You can definitely see it, but I mean, if you wanted to put dark text on here, it's definitely legible. The other thing that I'll mention before wrapping up this rather short video is uh, even if you use regular, um, and if you go ahead and run before we add the alpha, you can see that it is quite, uh, it's a quite prominent uh, blur. So let's say you didn't want it to blur out your image too much. You could definitely set an alpha value to the visual effect view. Let's say the transparency is 50%, so 0.5. You'll see the blur is still there, but you can see your image far better now. And uh, actually the act actual last thing that I'll show is if you wanted to animate this uh, blur onto your view, you would start off with an alpha of uh, zero actually here. And you would want to animate the alpha property. So if we just bring in a basic animation, animate with, animate with duration, that's not what we want. We want animate with duration, let's say one second. And let's say point actually five seconds and the animation will simply be our visual effect views alpha changing to one. And let's go ahead and delay this animation so we can see it without the blur first. So we're gonna say dispatch Q main and we're gonna say async after now plus two seconds. We'll uh, go ahead and execute the animation. So if you go ahead and run by default, we shouldn't see any animation here or any blur. And then we should see our blur come in just like that. So this is essentially more or less how Apple even blurs out the home screen when you swipe down and go into spotlight search. Uh, or even, uh, you know, back in the day before I was 14, when Siri used to take up the entirety of your screen and used to blur out the contents behind it. If I'm not mistaken, they used to use a dark uh, blur view. So let's see what that looks like, assuming this is your home screen. Siri would pop up. Of course, you would have the Siri icon here and all that good stuff. But yeah, that's, that's basically it. That's how you can apply a blur into your app. Uh, super, super nice looking UIs for showing content prominently displayed on top of it. Um, definitely brings a whole new depth to your applications. Looks great on iPhone, on iPad, uh, the whole nine yards. The one thing I'll caution is try not to use blurs all over the place in one app. Uh, it kind of takes away from the beauty of them. I think they should be used uh, kind of scarcely, use them uh, you know, in certain places where it makes sense, but don't overdo it so uh, it loses its uh, kind of cool factor. So that all said, if you haven't done so already, make sure you destroy that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below, do you guys like blurs? Do you use them? Um, do you, you find this video useful, helpful? Any suggestions? Do you want to see other visual effects? Uh, if you just want to say hi, every comment definitely helps out with the algorithm as well. 
And lastly, of course, hit subscribe while you're at it if you enjoyed the video and have been following along with our daily Swift tutorials. So thanks again for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.